What's up guys, here to show you how to do Nomaragon for Blackrock Week. And I'm uh, going to talk about each level, what the mechanics are, and then um, cards that I might suggest, and also alternatives if you want to use different cards or you don't have these ones at this level. So, or at the highest level. So this one, it's very similar to before. Uh, he's got these two rings that spawn on the uh, west and the east, and those are invulnerability, so you can use those to your advantage um, by landing either a save pilot like he's just doing now or uh, walking over like any kind of range unit over there or any other other unit so it's it's a whatever mechanic to me I don't really care about that too much but uh, the boss himself is very anti melee so if you throw in anything on top of him or you have a tank run in there or whatever he's just gonna spin to win and knock your guys off the map which is really funny the other heroic mechanic here is the little uh, red target that circles around he shoots a fist and it does the same effect basically if it hits you and it will hit air as well as ground if it hits you uh, you're gonna get knocked back sometimes you land on the map sometimes you don't land on the map so yeah so this is actually a, a really bad start you want to take the middle here um, I didn't do very well here at all, so, uh, in the beginning, but we stuck with it, and pretty sure we're able to win this one. I don't know. I have lost a couple times in the first level, especially, uh, trying different cards, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. So, having your range units, like, uh, your Bat Rider, which throws a pretty good little, uh, AE, um, range unit's good, and then I really like the Dark Spear Troll here. And there's some other options you could use. I think Pyromancer is great uh, across the board. I, I didn't actually experiment with them in this, but I think that Pyromancer would do good across every single map here. So um, if you're running Pyromancer, that's definitely uh, a smart thing. Wall pegs, I think, are actually pretty key here too. And I brought in Blizzard not for this map, but for the next map. And uh, I'll show you here in a little while why, but... Uh, Blizzard isn't really super necessary here. We're just basically cleaning up what we can. Those Riflemen are in the first two levels, which aren't that bad. You know, Riflemen you can deal with. They're expensive, but, um, yeah, if you don't deal with them effectively, like with a safe pilot on the back or whatever, they can be a problem. So we're just chipping away. We're, we're doing, you see the little spin there and, uh, and him knocking off the safe pilot, but safe pilot got a few shots in, so no complaints. I definitely don't want to lose this middle. Um, when they start spawning stuff there, it's a, it's a lot more difficult. So just having that middle also, you can maintain the gold. If you put it on the right side here, your gold bolt has a chance of getting both. So pretty nice. Other than that, we're just pushing in. And when we have him at this little life, I just throw well pigs right on top of him. Um, yeah, he's, he's pretty much really close to that. I'm not even too concerned about defense at this point. It's more about cycling until uh, get whatever up to just finish him off. So, like I said, not the easiest level, not the hardest level. Um, it's, uh, with this deck, it, the, these cards right here, it's really not too bad. All right, let's skip along. So, I really like these. I'll pause it here and... Um, the non-cycle, playing a cycle mini causes the next non-cycle to be one less gold and not less than one. I think that's fantastic. Anything that's like, anytime you play a tank, it's one less gold. Anytime you save gold, that is a very, very good card. There's other cards that are uh, talents that are probably just as good, if not better. Like playing grunts or something at your base. I don't think that's a thing here, but uh, I really like anytime you can save gold. Right. This is, in my opinion, the most difficult. The third one is the easiest. But uh, I keep trying to take this gold chest in the middle, and it's not working for me. If it, if it works for you, that's great. But uh, the main thing that you want to do here is take the towers on the left and the right. They will just save you so much headache. So your whole fight here is defending and taking these uh, two towers. They have this little uh, gas, poison gas, uh, next to the towers. So when you're running in on them... Um, they do a little bit of damage, so that really hurts things like these whelp eggs here. It hurts harpies and chickens and things like that, which which is just definitely not great. But the Dark Spirit Troll with regeneration, he can survive that the whole time. So that's that's a big, big part of this uh, tower push is trying to basically throw up a tank behind and then your Dark Spirit Troll to to take it. So 
It's a slug getting here because they win the gold battle early unless you steal one like that. That was good. Um, yeah, it's a pretty nice blizzard here. This is one of the reasons I have it. I need to take out these big clumps of units, which they have quite a few of. So that was really nice. And that's another reason I actually run Batrider here because the explosion of the uh, Empire Mats would work really good too. But uh, Batrider is just, just good for all the big AE splash damage. So we took out the right tower, almost took out the left tower, didn't quite work out, but we're taking it close to here now, almost. So we definitely want to finish that off before we really think about pushing the boss. The boss will, um, that stinks when he opens up the chest for them, but what can you do? Uh, the boss will uh, shoot some range projectiles two different ways. One's like a, like a orb that kind of goes pretty far and um, does like a single shot and then he does like a beam which I believe in increases in damage the more he focuses on you but the whole point here is when our, once our towers are up they're going to do a really really good job at defending a lot of this stuff because they are very bunched up and then we'll just have our ranged units like our bat rider our safe pilot potentially and uh, our dark spear trolls doing DPS in the back while we try to throw our quill bore up uh, when we can so you can see this rifleman here just gets uh, taken out, which is just so big. You don't have to waste cards for that. I lost that gold again, which is never good. But that's what happens sometimes. So I want to get that school board up behind. It's a little too late. Couldn't do it. But the school board might allow for a couple hits from the whelps, so it could be worse. Yeah, and the uh, Dark Spear Troll got a few shots in and uh, doing real good damage on that safe pilot, so... Yeah, it's a pretty pretty nice little cool bore in the back. Um, I was running cool bore and rock elemental for a bit, earth elemental, um, in place of blizzard, and I think it was just a little too aggressive. So uh, having that blizzard in is really good for an oh crap moment. So um, I think it's worth it. No, we're just he's so low. We're just gonna finish him off. This next is this next map map three well let's see what we got for uh i do really like this uh one where you say where your tanks cost one less but i only have one tank in here so that's not as good in my opinion is deploying an unbound mini stuns enemies for a second and i have three unbound so i think that's kind of worth it all right this next one it's all about uh taking these little glass orb things so uh, when you take the glass orbs, it spawns a little bomb like you see, and it runs and does damage to him. You can't really do damage to him by, by yourself, and when you get close to him, he does a lot of work against you. So, this map is super easy because it gives you these two gold nodes right next to your base. I did just lose my kobold on that one, which is a little unfortunate, but um, you're basically just cycling through all your stuff as quickly as possible, and then harvesting left, harvesting right, harvesting left, harvesting right, and then... You're going to be so far ahead on the gold battle that uh, it's just it's just a very 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 easy easy map. So always stay up on top of that gold. Pretty much you'll always be able to harvest three, and then uh, really your main focus is just getting all those glass orby things before they do. So that's that's not the best quill bore there, but uh, I'm definitely concerned about him getting some of those orbs. Now they're all up. And I, I'm taking these things out with Blizzard. Like, the air won't attack them, but uh, that's two two bombs on his map that could have been on my map. He does have those Molten Giants. Not that big of a deal. I uh, was using them, or I was thinking about using a Banshee, but this map's so easy, it's just not worth it. Like, even if you steal the, the thing, he's just going to get killed by the boss, so not that big of a deal. I was able to snipe all these orbs, so you can see it's just super, super easy. You can't let them really hit your base. All it is is just beating them in the uh, collection battle of these little Tesla coil things. This is not a great place to be, but eh, it's not too bad. I think I slacked a little bit on getting that kobold down in time, so I'll be behind just a little bit on gold, but just cycling... Cycling left, cycling right, taking out all the things. Very, very, very easy map. So the hardest hardest is probably map two, easiest is map, map uh, three, and one is also hit or miss. When it goes well, it goes well. When it goes bad, it goes bad quick. So 
you'll see that. But at least it's the first map, so you can restart it. So yeah, let me know if you think this deck is could be improved upon. You know, I, I was tinkering a lot with stuff, but uh, if you have other cards that might fit in a better way, um, let me know what you think would be better. And uh, if not, like if this helps you out, that'd be great too. All right, that's it for this week's dungeon little guide walkthrough thing. And uh, yeah, till the next time, y'all take care.